In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with a SharePoint discussion board. A discussion board is a great way to gather input from employees of an organization by providing a forum for conversations and idea sharing. They encourage dialogue by providing a central location for posting discussion topics for everyone to quickly read and respond to. A discussion board has been added to the marketing page of this site to share ideas and information. In the discussion list displayed on the page, you can see there have been three discussion topics added to this list. It also shows you who posted the discussion and how many replies have been received on those discussions. To add a new discussion, click on Add New Discussion. And for the subject, you type in a brief title for the discussion. Then in the body field, type in the full description or details about this discussion. This is a rich text field, so text may be formatted. You can add tables, images, and even hyperlinks. When finished, click Save. And you can see the new discussion I've just added has been placed at the bottom of the list. To open and read the details of a posting and its replies, click on the subject title. And I'm going to select Best Promo Product Ever. The subject title and details appear at the top of the list. The started date identifies when the topic was initially posted. And for each posting and reply, the name and picture of the person displays next to their message. To reply to a posting, use the Reply button on the far right of the item. You can reply to the original post or to any of the other replies. In this example, I'm going to reply to the original posting. A text window displays with a cursor in the blank area above the discussion topic you are replying to. So I've finished typing in my response. I've even included a link to an email address for a contact for her. And then I'll choose the Save button at the bottom. And this new response to the discussion is added to the bottom of the thread. So I'll return back to the marketing page. And now you see the list reflects that there are now two replies to this particular discussion topic. So here we have seen an example of how SharePoint discussion boards provide a great central communication tool.